Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Continuing the storyline, uh, big things happened in the last episode, so if you missed that one, you might want to go see it, so there's no spoilers, of course. Uh, but we are headed into camp right now, and we are going to talk to, I believe it's Dutch, the D, yep. on the little icon there, so I'm assuming that's who it's going to be. But uh, I did want to point out that the whole thing, I, I, I was an idiot on the last one. Um, the gun oil, yeah, I, I ran out of gun oil, but I had just cleaned all of my guns before I did that episode. So that's the reason why I, uh, the other guns were already clean. So uh, regardless, I was a dummy and I ran out of gun oil and uh, I edited all that out anyway. So you never saw it. But some of you saw the end of that one part. I digress. Here we are at camp. I'm yeah. just absolutely enamored with this storyline. I know a lot of you guys are as well. And uh, let's hey. let's go talk to Dutch and see what's going on. Because things have changed quite a bit. Uh, and if we look at the map, I'll show you here in a second. We look at the map. There you go, feller. Uh, we've got uh, in Rhodes. We can't even go to Rhodes anymore. I mean, or Caliga Hall. This is all red. Not, which is, is interesting. It doesn't say wanted, dead, or alive or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, we are not welcome in Rhodes anymore after that whole nonsense. So, goodbye to being deputized and all that. Looks like Dutch has people oh, all riled up over here. Because usually this camp is, you know, alive. There's a lot of people walking around just Take a deep breath. doing their, you know, having their lives. But we lost, uh, we lost a member of our family, so... Things are a little different now. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Oh no. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Don't leave that piece Rest of shit you. back here. Let's ride. We're riding. Okay. Here we go. Let's go get that boy back. Maybe a hawk got Jack. He's a small little feller. Man, we got a crew moving out. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. Well, we you should. On Jack. You should see the entire picture here. I swear. I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? What about the gold? The damn about the gold. They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Yeah, no there shit. Is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We of underestimated them. No, That's they beautiful. underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Boy, we are going to be rolling in deep on this house. Get get them ready. Just get them ready. I'm going to go with the uh, sawed-off shotgun, or maybe I'll go with the volcanic pistol. Yeah. The volcanic pistol on okay, this one. Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Okay. Whatever you say, Dutch. This is getting intense, guys. This is getting real intense. Oh, you know what? Let's make sure that Jeff has got his uh, his his dead eye ready to go because we know how shitty I am at a shot on the, con the console. Oh boy, this is ramping up. All right, everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. 
Oh, shit. I love how back in the day they're like, we're going to go in, but leave the horses First out of this. They didn't do gotcha. anything to anybody. We should have stayed out of all of this. Yeah, I got my good pissed, or I got my good stuff here. Uh, I think I'm going to go on. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go with the old uh, bolt action on this one. It's a beast. Bit late for that, ain't it? Go to Dutch. Yeah, we're on the way. Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Okay. Come on. Let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? Crazy I'm bitch. Look quiet, those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. <laughs> Get down here now, you inbred trash. Oh. What the hell do you want? <laughs> Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. That's a lot of guys. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Oh shit. Oh shit, there we go, here we go. Shit, get it where you can. Dude's dead. That dude's fucking toast. Get down, get down, get some fucking cover. Shit, shot through the heart. Just like a steak. Get down. Ah, shoot that son of a bitch right there. Cover left. Oh, that dude's. Oh, that's a bad dude right there. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Yep. Reloading, reloading. Hold on. Get this dude right here in his head. You gotta be shitting me. Get down. I don't know why it doesn't stay in cover. Shit. Terrible shot, man. Jesus. I'm doing terrible. Fuck, that takes forever to reload that gun. Maybe we gotta go with our other one. Jesus. Okay, yeah. Bolt action was a little all over the place. Wait, woman. Got my big shoddy out here now. Jack, you in here? Jack, can you hear me? Back in this room on the left. Yeah, apologize for that shitty shot. Should have known better. Oh, shit. Damn, there was a person in there for sure. Okay. Get upstairs. Trying to get over there. Hold on a second. Give me a second. Yeah, Lee. You can't run in here. They won't let you. Okay. Arthur, get out there. We got this door covered. Jesus. Okay. There they are. Whole bunch of boys. Ah, <laughs> uh, I should have gone with the other. Damn. Yeah, I should have went with the repeater. Died. A little shit. Come on, baby. Reload it. I got dead. It's gonna take a little bit here. He's 
down. It takes two each here. Yeah, I got was down for the most part there. Oh shit. Got his ass. One in the head there. That's a lot of dudes right there. All right, now we're getting warmed up. Now we're getting warmed up today. Shit. This is the first recording of the day. Gonna be a little sluggish on controls. Yeah, I know. Hold on. Get him. There we go. There we go. Get, get some cover. The cover system sometimes does some fail like that. Come on, get into cover. There you go, buddy. Shoot that pizza shit, he's almost dead anyway. That's our guy. There you go, buddy. They're kind of close range, you know what? Looks like they're running. Ho ho ho! Let's find a way into that room. John break the door. Okay. Alright, we're getting better. I had to slam some Red Bull there for a second, but we're all right. Oh, on the backside. I'm a dummy. Yeah, I know. We're gonna, we'll break it. Hold on a second. Break One, the... Two. two. Three. Oh, oh, shit. There we go. Take them both out. Woohoo. That was incredible. Lamp some more Red Bull here. You want me to kill you too, old woman? You Do it. Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about them? Oh. <laughs> Let's get this hag outside. Any more of our sons to deal with? No, reckon they're all dead. Jesus. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. And this is based on a hunch. They're gonna burn this house down. Holy shit. You got that one, Arthur? Oh. I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Damn, this place is going down. Look at that. Here goes their house. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. <laughs> what are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Jesus. They should have just killed her. She's going to be a problem later. Like, come on, guys. You kill all those other people? Ain't going to kill no old lady, though. I mean, I get it, but she's going to be a problem later on if we don't take care of the problem now. You think she doesn't want revenge? It's going to work out, John. 
It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Mm. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Ooh. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites and as a consequence that lets you take what you please kill whom you please and hang the rest of us who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray i'm nothing but a seeker mr milton you ain't much of anything more than a killer mr vanderlind but i came to make a deal it's time you come with me and i give the rest of you three days to run off Disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! On the run again. Come on, John. Son this of a bitch. Crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Yeah, we know. We need a new spot already. Follow this me. is just getting to be way. absolutely ridiculous. Let's go. gonna be all right John we should be going for Jack we will we have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army 
We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Jose, too. Yep. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. The house burning Things out there in the don't distance. Always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. You're rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. It is a mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So, you were saying... Sure has. Life's changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. This is where we kill That's all those people. Ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Yeah. Come on. Sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? No. I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. All right, horses. All right, what guns we got here? Um, I think I'm going to go with the... I like the Lancaster repeater a lot. I think I'm going to go with that guy. There we go. Okay, Marston, what we got here? Oh shit! It's them again! Boys, there it is. Get ready! Damn it! Still some here. I can see that. Well, you think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. There's some rooms for the stragglers. You know what we're gonna need here? Need the old shoddy out. Uh should have gotten that. I didn't though, did I? No. We'll do the we'll do the volcanic pistol. That'd be enough to get him get it done here. Okay. Let's uh make sure that we've got Dead eye here. Son of a bitch. You fools should have left when you had the chance. There's one right there. You toast. You dead. Who else wants to die? Anybody else? Man, I wish we could have looted all those bodies we killed back at that house. Check this area here. In there. Okay. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? All right, it's clear. We'll find out who put you up to this. Will you? Sorry, boys. This is ours now. Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you. Well, I see you. Tough guy, right? Yep, right there. Really? <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. I 
here. We're moving around in here. No, it's John outside, I think. Nah, that room's clear. Yeah. I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some other coward like you. About that, Lofty hunters, no, the freedmen, don't the you do anything stupid? He kill himself. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. Really, I survived them. Had enough of you. Sorry, but I'm not gonna let him get his. Oh, Shit. Bitch got me. Yeah, he did. I think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? I will in a minute. Hold on, let me clean up here. Damn. They don't let you loot the bodies out. Yeah, he was sitting there loading his gun. You think I'm gonna fucking there we go. Loot loot him. You think I'm gonna let him just load his gun so he can just aim it at me? Because that's what he was gonna do. There's another body there. Downstairs, that's where it is. Although I let me try to loot this one. It's just not seeming to let me do it. Oh, nope. You only change out the gun. All right, no problem. Let's get downstairs. Oh, shut up, man. I'm trying to loot some things. Make some money for the camp, you know? What do you need help with, John? Oh. Here. Yeah. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Okay. I want the others walking into this. All righty, I'll get it. Don't worry. Pick it up. We'll loot him once we get it out there. Yeah, we are All going me. to. Good God, man. Well, right, nice place. Got a gazebo. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Sounds good to me. Into the swamp by the jetty. And uh, actually, you know what? Before I drop him, I am going to loot his ass. We get all this stuff off him. We throw him in the river. There we go. Look at that. I had horse medicine on him. Almost threw that into the swamp. Yeah, they will. Woo! In you go. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the body. You go meet up with the caravan. Got him in. All right. We got to move all the bodies now. They're upstairs, too. Some bitch. Uh, yep, he already got that guy. That's what that was. All right, let me go get these guys and dump them. I'm going to loot them and dump them. In you go. That's another one. That's the dude that uh, was... Ooh. Okay. Maybe that's all we had to do. We just move one more body. Seems like that's what it was. Welcome home, all of you, to uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Let's see what Dush has to say. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. 
anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever Welcome to we San do, Denis. We'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter 4, Santini. All right, mission complete. The Battle of Shady Bell. Settling feuds trophy earned. New horses are available to purchase at the Scarlet Meadows and Santini's table. Ooh. Yeah. Got a bunch of BRs over here. I think that's gonna be the. What you waiting for? What you waiting for, honey? Hey, Mister. Hey, Mister. Mister. This is such a insanely, de insanely detailed city, as you will soon see. Howdy, people. Mister. Listen, have you seen? I'm looking for my friend Gavin. Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Okay. Well, it's a big city. Good luck. So, good luck. <laughs> good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Yeah, it's too bad. Gavin! He's looking for Gavin. Looking for a new rifle. Hey, look at how beautiful this town is. It is so detailed, it's insane. I know I said it, but it's just true. Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. I'm still looking for Gavin. Good lord. Adam. How do you do? Hi there. Why are you messing with me today? I'm not messing with you today. You just walked out in front of me, dipshit. What are you in? You hey, <laughs> Howdy. Hey. Alright, so looks like we have a working clock. Look at that. It is currently four really? Oh that yeah. The sun's going down in the west. Facing more to the uh, east. Look at that. Almost five o'clock. That is pretty darn cool. Alright, let's go to the first one. Alright, he's gonna be around this area. I see BR. They said to check the saloon for this one, I believe. So we're going to do that. We'll hitch the horse out in the front here. Is that the saloon right there? That's not the saloon. It's going to be around the other side, I think. Get our horse into a trot. Yep, here's some hitches right here. Sweet. Let me hitch it out right here. And go make, uh, make ourselves well known in this town. Full to action. Uh, you know what? I don't know if anything's going to go down. So what we're going to do is we're going to, mm, let's see here. We're going to go down here to saddle. I'm going to get my Lancaster repeater. I really like it. I do. Don't think I have any, um, gun oil. Still. 
No, I do. Just clean it up. It was in a fight recently. That and my volcanic pistol. I don't have gun oil to clean this weapon. I think I'm out of gun oil now. Yeah, pretty sure. Um. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Wait. All right. Then you put it away, bud. Just keep it in your hand. Guess the entrance is over here. Howdy, partner. Hey there. Pardon me. Pardon me. How the hell do you get in this place? Oh, look at this door right here. Look at this dog. Jeez, that thing's been through hell. Holy shit, dude. Hey, boy. You got blood on you, mud on you. What the? F oh, thanks for pissing Easy on me, you there. piece of shit. Hey, look out. Mister. Howdy. Howdy. Your dog is real piece of work. Oh my god. Is that a pig? Yep. Got a pig running through the streets. Nope. Can't get in that way. Alright. Let me go find out how to get in here. You ain't scared nobody. Alright. Inquire about Bronte. I'm looking for a man called Bronte. Have you heard of him? Don't know who you're talking about. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh, saloon was closed. All right, bartender. Hey, friend, I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the, the Bastille Saloon opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Bastille. Appreciate it. Just watch yourself. He's got quite the reputation. Oh, I believe it. Guys playing some good tunes there. Alright, we'll go to check the other places. Nothing in here but a drunk. Yeah, I know. I appreciate it. That dude is wasted on that table right there. There's that damn dog again. Go piss on somebody else. Go piss on somebody you owe sight. Alright, off to next. But I do want to uh ride around and show you this. This uh, city because it is just so so good. Um, we're going right over here. It's not very far either, so that'd be cool. Come on, buddy. We get hit by a train. Hit by a train today. Oh, look out there! Into a trot. There you go. You're in a city. People everywhere. I go down this alleyway, actually. Nope. A lot of homeless, it looks like. Hey, mister. How are you? I'm doing well. The bookkeepers. Evening, mister. Hey, partner. Good evening, mister. There's Thank a cop. For keeping the peace. Uh huh. Thank you for keeping the peace. Yeah, Appreciate I'll it. Man, it is absolutely dusty and misty out. Uh, partner. Hi. Okay, buddy. Oh, look at this carriage. You got blinders on. Hey, friend. Okay. That is amazing right there. That sunset and the shadow. Oh shit, somebody running from the law there. I'd help out with my lasso, but we're kind of busy right now, so. Sorry about you. There we go. So the reason why you want to trot around the town is it's so easy to run into people. Because they're everywhere. Oh shit. Stick them up, cowboy. Uh-oh. Oh, Dutch, you prick. You're real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? 
I'll meet you back here or not. Look at this saloon. <laughs> I just walk in, they just stare at me. <laughs> Don't mind me. Howdy. That's so amazing how everybody just looked around. But what I was saying was uh, the reason why you want to trot around in the city is because if you actually run into somebody, I've gotten like a hundred fifty dollar you know, bounty off of something so stupid, so make sure we don't cause any trouble we don't need to. Bartender. Hello. Hello. No. I'll get you in a second. No, now. Let me tell you Excuse me. The rest of the states they lucky to have us. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Yeah, I do. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. I am a whiskey sure. man. Look how beautiful this place is. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff from Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you did, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Well, not a lot of help there, was he? Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Yes. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Yeah. Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Okay. You know, oh, while we're hey here. Friend, you, you'll be careful now. I'll be careful, hey, thank you. They're not to be trusted. Can I get a bath or something? Because I really would like to get a bath if I could. Is that a glass float? A glass floating in the air. Look at this. There's some crazy shit going down in San Denis. You see this lady? What is that? What kind of ghost shit is that? All right, people, take care of yourselves now. They don't let me uh, use the saloon correctly right now because we're in the middle of the mission. Ask them boys around back. That's what we're gonna do. Right back this way. That's so beautiful. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. All righty, thank you. Good say thank you, but. So are do. you done with the silent treatment now? No. Oh, trouble in paradise over there. There they are. Dumb little kids. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Fine. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Yeah, I can tell. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. 
Ain't Baptist or nothing. Hundred years later. Hundreds My mama of years later. Said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh they make the airbus there. Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you little pair of shit. Go get this little fucker. Get going. He's coming after us. You better believe it. I'm running. Come here, you son of a bitch. Come here, you little son of a bitch. You get hit by a train today, aren't you? Oh, you little shit. God damn, little prick. Keep running after him. Not that fast. It's going to stop here soon. Yeah, you are. Come on. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on. Lasso this little shit. I'll tell you that right now. No way, people. Damn, that thing is going fast now. Woo -wee. Bastard got off. Yeah, you did. Oh, damn street trash. You go get him, go get him. Oh, that shit went that way. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thanks for the help, friend. Where did he go? You know, I kind of miss old Bob Taylor. You see anybody? Hey, mister, you seen a boy running through here? I haven't. No. Maybe those gentlemen over there have. No, I'll ask them. Get the eyes off the trolley wise. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. That's enough. Come here. Morning. Hey, Morning. Oh, shit. Come here, you dumb shit. I see you. Ah, you son of a bitch. Almost got the dog. <laughs> excuse you. Yeah, excuse me, right? Come on. Hey, big love. Get love. Fuck off, kid. You ain't got a chance in hell, slow poke. You think Stop. about that? Shit. You alright back there, old man? You better stop right now. Little fucker. On, like ah. got oh, that hurt. Oh, you fucking slow, you fuck. Just give it up, kid. Oh, wait, buddy, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Come, Jesus. Just stop immediately. Oh, come on with this. Excuse me. Hello. Pardon me. Yeah, pardon you. Have you seen this dipshit go through here? Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15. Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Ran around the corner there, okay. I can't believe that. There he is. Fucker, come here. Oh, you son of a bitch. Fell on some fruit. Come on, get him. I'll kill you, you thieving bastard. Gonna get him, gonna get him. What's oh, the problem, they got friend? guns. You gotta be kidding me. Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now, give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, <gasps> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but... I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Okay, well. That guy's nowhere, didn't it? 
Come here, buddy. Try to get our horse. We got our satchel back, though. I think our horse is hitched, but we should be able to get free. Come on, Chester. Where you at? There you are. Come here, buddy. How you doing, boy? All right. We're going to head over there and see what the hell is going on with this Bronte feller. All right. Right around this area somewhere. Oh, there's Dutch right there. What do you got going on? Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Okay. We're gonna go get Jack back, apparently. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. The joys of civilization. Mission complete. All right, well. Move on to the next. All right, Dutch is around to this spot here. I think we're over here by the uh, Flavian Street. There's Dutch right there. Hitch our horse right here. Nope. How about we actually hitch the horse? Actually hitch it. Find the little spot. There we go. Very nice. Oh, Chester can rest. There you go. Do I have my gun on me? Nope. You get it off the horse. Should have known better. I don't know if it's going to matter or not, but I always like to have it just in case. While we're in town, we need to stop by a, a gun shop, get some more gun oil. Or have him clean, them, clean the weapons. All right, Dutch, what you got? Oh, we got John, too. Like I said. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna mm -hmm. get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? Looks like it. <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Ooh, shit. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. <laughs> I got this. Oh, shit. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. He 
sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Okay, well, that went differently than I expected. We gotta go uh, stop the grave robbers now. Hey, Chester. How you doing, buddy? Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor He's not kid. wrong. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack ransom for all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. Sounds I good to me. I hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Yeah, it looks like Keep it. it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. What are you doing? What are you doing? You ran right into me. Calm it down. Calm it down. 
You know, one thing we haven't done yet is uh, we haven't done a first person uh, shootout yet. I need to change that. Gun out. Bolt action. Well, did I have a backup? This way. Search in the grave. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Ooh, I heard something. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. I'm staying quiet. I don't think we're gonna be in a gun battle here, so I'm just gonna hang out for a second. Third person. I would bet they're gonna be in the back. Well, I hear him. Way. Shut up, dog. Sure, whatever you say, bud. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. Keep searching in here. I'm feeling that dog is telling us where they're at. Oh, shit, lady. That was scary. Ooh, somebody's doing something over here. I heard it. Get on the. Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? I did too. Either the dead are waking up. Not just walking around. trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. I think it came from around here somewhere. Oh yeah, right here. I hear something in there. Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. Boy, found my watching. Hmm? Oh shit! Oh shit! There's plenty of them. Damn it. I'm All right. Alrighty, hold on. He did. Can't see. Bastards are trying to. Yeah, I know, man. Try to do it. First person. No doubt. Oh, no one right here. Where'd he go? Saw him a second ago. Let's get our good gun out. What the hell's going on with this? Hardly see what I'm shooting there. Oh, there. You made a big mistake coming in. Okay, yeah, that's not good. Oh, you shithead. Jesus. I'm fighting one over here in the alleyway. Shoot him. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. This Fucker. Kick his ass, sea bass. Jesus. Damn it. There you go. Get my fucking hat back. Where'd it go? Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. Dude, get your gun out. What the fuck are you doing? That's John, you son of a bitch. After him. <laughs> Fucking hell. They're right there. He won't go down. 
Oh yeah, well. Oh yeah, you will. All right. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here. Somewhere. I'm gonna loot these boys first. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't and gun oil and all that. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Right, we will in a second. Let me go Robin loot the bodies. Robbers. We've oh. hit the big time. Search for the, ra the grave robbers stash. Okay, well, let me get everything I can off these people first. That's what we're gonna do. Man, yeah, that was just fail with Let's the uh, check that spot where it all kicked off. <laughs> with the first person. The problem I have with it is just that uh, it's so the camera is so sluggish. We it's so slow. With to show for it, Arthur. Yeah, I know that. Okay, we're working on it, John. Just wait. I mean, I can't. Probably clean my guns too if I can find. There's like a body right there. Let's look around where they jumped. Yeah, I'm doing it. Hold on a second. Fuck's sake, dude. All right, let's uh, maintain our repeater. I'm sure, we have gun oil now. Nope. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, let's take care of some business first. I'm around here. Gotta be. Ain't nothing there. Ooh, what's this? Think there might be something in here. Yep. Got it. Got Good. it. Now let's get out of here. Okay. Shit, it's the law. Oh fuck. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Yeah, we can. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Oh great. We got the law on our asses. Come on. Let's go around the side. Be careful. Okay. Get down. Jeez, man. There's someone coming. Hide. I found a body. Shit. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Oh no. You know what we're gonna do? Bandana it up. With me. I got one but no. We're gonna they're gonna find the bodies anyway. John out of here. Get the hell out of here. Oh, there's two more that way. Cover. Get in cover, Arthur. You won't do it. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's how you get in cover. Jeez. On, Hell out of here to our horses. Get back to Dutch. Okay, let's get rid of our bandana. Don't need that on anymore. Looks like we lost him for now. Come on. Let's just get there. Yep. I'm fine with that. But you're going away. Quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Quick. Well, All right. I'll try to go head on. I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there. Collect our side of the deal. You alright? He best not be playing games with us. He almost You make a left here, John. Is. You make a left. Thank you. Well, let's just see. <laughs> Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, would you see where we're at once we got Jack? Hitch the horse right here. Oh, best up. 
Come on, Arthur. We're back. Well, you took your time. Jack, it was pretty fast, house. actually. Yeah. Like I said, you took your time. Yeah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Everything. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. We got Jack back. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> oh, ho. and us, just simple country boys. Just simple country boys. No, it's not over yet. Waiting for this mission to be over with here. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You got it. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Looks like worms, but it's right? delicious. Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. All right, we're getting an Italian lesson today in this episode. Goodbye. All right, getting closer. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well. The man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Hey! <laughs> you ran right into Any me. problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! You do see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. All right. We got some more money. 
It's complete. Angela Bronte. Wow. Everybody's celebrating. We got Jack back. All is well. Guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Take care. How about a song? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Play us away. Woo! <laughs> 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 Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Ay, 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 cantando colores, porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des.